this shoot. Oh, I recorded the app. So that, uh, unfortunately there's a big gap in the video because I forgot to start the video earlier. But um, the afternoon class is pretty similar, a little bit different. And so it turns out it's exactly, this is um, water freezes exactly at zero degrees C and exactly at 32 Fahrenheit. Um, water boils at 100 degrees C. Uh, what Fahrenheit temperature does water boil at? Exactly 212 Fahrenheit or approximately 212 Fahrenheit? Exactly. And so sometimes we have a data table like this. What do we like to do in science? What we like to do is try to visualize it. And sometimes visualizing it is easiest done using a plot or a graph. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plot degrees Fahrenheit, the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit on the y-axis. And then I'm going to plot the temperatures in degrees Celsius on the x-axis. I wrote this backwards. This is my x, this is my y. It doesn't matter. And so um, if I'm at 0 degrees C, I'm at 32 Fahrenheit. Here. So I have a data point here. If I'm at 100 degrees C, what Fahrenheit temperature am I at? I'm at 212 Fahrenheit. Here. Now two points define a straight line. How many points do you need to define a curved line? Three points. You need three points. So we need a third point here because I don't know if it's a straight line, which we call linear, or curved. What do you think it is? Straight line relationship, directly proportional, or curved? Curved? Um, that is, um, a curved relationship would be uh, like uh, things um, speeding up or cooling down. But let's let's take a look at. Uh, actually, I'm running out of time here. Well, let me just tell you. We'll take one more point. It turns out it's here, and it looks to be a linear relationship, and it is. It's a linear relationship. What's the most concise way of defining a line like this? What's the most concise way? Rather than, you think, well, that's pretty concise, a plot like that, but a plot takes up too much space. An equation, a mathematical equation. And so what's the equation for a straight line? Y equals mx plus b. So rather than drawing a curve like this, rather than having a table like this, what we're going to do is we're going to do a process in science called data reduction. Data reduction is we're going to take all this data and reduce it into its most concise definition. The most concise definition is this equation. This equation we call what? Is this equation coming from theory or from observation? Observation. observation. So this is called a empirical equation. Temperature in degrees Fahrenheit, which is my y, is equal to m. What's my slope? Well, it's delta y. So that's um, Temperature final minus temperature initial, 212 minus 32. 212 minus 32 is 180 degrees Fahrenheit. That's my delta Y. What's my delta X? 100 minus zero, 100 degrees C. Okay, times my X, my X is gonna be temperature in degrees C plus the intercept. The intercept is 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And so this is the um, empirical equation that I get from the observations there. And this equation, um, most people just memorize this equation, and they just write it in a simpler form. Degrees Fahrenheit is equal to 9 fifths degrees Celsius plus 32 degrees. So this is the equation that we do. Um, this is just uh, rearranged, um, solving for degrees Celsius. In other words, degrees Celsius is equal to degrees Fahrenheit minus 32 degrees times five ninths. That would be the other equation there. Nine fifths is 1.8, or you know, 180 over 100. We could do the same thing with the Kelvin scale. For the Kelvin, we can just plot out the relationship. When we do the Kelvin, it turns out the Kelvin temperature is equal to degree C plus 273. OK, there's no degree symbol in Kelvin. Kelvin's absolute. 
Um, technically, it's 273.15, but we're going to omit that 0.15. And so this is this, these are the scales here. What I was talking about is this. From freezing to boiling, there are 100 steps, 100 degrees here. From freezing to boiling, there are 180 steps here. Uh, so on the Fahrenheit scale, there are a lot more steps, means that each step is smaller compared to the Celsius. From freezing to boiling here, there are 100 steps. So the Kelvin step is the exact same thing as a Celsius step. So a Kelvin degree change, or Kelvin, we don't call it degree, a Kelvin change is the same thing as a degree C change. And so I'm out of time here, so we'll stop here. But essentially, it's pretty much done. So if you need to, if you want to see the other part of the um, lecture on video, it's it's for the morning class. I have it, not the afternoon.